you know your wattage. When you know your wattage, you know the voltage you're going to input from your batteries, so you can then calculate the amperage that you need. So the amount of time that you need to make a call. Watts equals volts times amps. Watts equals volts what's times amps, yes. Okay, so how does that work with the trombone? Right, okay, got... so... Let's use her okay, as so, an example, yeah, right? She's now, she obviously runs lots of new systems now, but her original system ran 12 volts. Yeah. Her motor was 120 watts. 120 equals 12. So we times... take, no, we take 120 and yeah. we divide it by 12. Yeah, 10. Easy. 10 amps. So 10 amp battery. So we know that in Zoe, if we wanted her to run for one hour, yeah. we fit her with a 10 amp battery. Right. Yeah. yeah. Now, what if we only wanted to run her for half an hour? Five amp. We put a five amp battery. So is that what a smaller we... battery? Smaller battery, yes. Uh, okay, Which so it's means it's smaller and lighter. Ah, okay. So ah, the smaller ah. battery, you're not pushing as much weight around and should run for longer. So then you've got this kind of problem where you need more power so you get a bigger battery, but then it weighs more so you need more power so you get a bigger battery. So it weighs more, you need more power and you get a bigger battery. <laughs> you just yeah, go around in yeah. circles. So in the Tron bike, for example, we've got a big, big motor in there. Yeah. If we wanted it to run for four or five days, we'd have to have even bigger batteries. But you've missed something. If we had even bigger batteries, we need a bigger motor. Because, of course, it's now moving so much more weight that, and then, of course, if we're moving more weight and we've got a bigger motor, we need bigger batteries to move that bigger motor. So, yeah, you're right. Okay. Do you get it? I think so. No. <laughs> we kind of got the basics there. Yeah. That we have to choose the right sort of battery. The problem is it's not that simple. We have this other thing called stall talk. Now, I know, it gets confusing. That's Zoe... horses, isn't it? Stall no, talk? it's got nothing to do with horses. <laughs> yes. no. Anyway, horses. look. So... We've got the battery. What's that? How's it got to do with horses? Stalls. Horses are in stalls, aren't they? Munching A. You're thinking about food again. We've got the stall talk. It's like Zoe on our 120 watt motors. If we took yeah. them off the ground and we span the motors around, yeah. she would draw 120 watts, which means on a 10 amp battery, she'd run for one hour. Yeah. The problem is things don't exist like that. The motors have to go onto the ground, so you've got friction. Right. They have to go over bumps. They have to go up hills. Yeah. And as soon as a motor goes up a hill or it goes over a bump, it draws more current. From the battery. But it can't take more watts because it can only no, do... No, it's, it's drawing watts. 120. Hi, and welcome to Popper Studios, episode nine. Woo! So the uh, the saga continues. Uh, the trilogy will be concluded in episode 11. And all about charging. Yeah. Solar, solar panels. Solar panels. All different types of battery. Everything yep. you need to know about batteries so episode 11. Make sure you tune in. You do not want to miss that one. That's yep. going to be riveting. Electrifying. <laughs> so anyway, on today's show, we yep. are going to be featuring one of our oldest and probably most lovable oh. props. And that is K9, now known, of course, as K7 of 9. Yep. Uh, we're going we're gonna to show you a little bit about how he was created, where mm. his name came from. What basically. he does when he's out and about. Yeah, all those so, sort of things. Barry, this one is for you. But yep. just before we go to that, we had an idea, didn't we? Oh, yeah. So we're yeah. kind of titchy at the moment, and we're growing all our subscribers and that, which is really cool. Loving you guys out there. And when we get to 2,000 subscribers, we're going to give away the owl. But we thought to ourselves, we want to be bigger than that. One million subscribers. What if we did a giveaway? That's our target, one million yeah. subscribers. Well, we'd like more, but... But what if we did a giveaway at one million? We'd have to give away something humongous. Do you know what we're going to give away? What could we give away? We are going to give away, or we're thinking about this, but we need your comments on this. We want to know what you think. Do you think we should do this? What? We're going to give away a full-sized Batmobile. No, we can't do that. Yeah, we are. Well, One are sure? million subscribers. Well, what do you guys, think? what do you think? What do you think? Put some comments down. Should we give away a Batmobile at one million subscribers? What do you reckon?
If you remember in episode two, I think it was, Mrs. Breaker told you a little bit about K9 and how we became K7 of nine. Yeah, he got assimilated, didn't he? Why did we do that? Well, as you know, I'm a little bit of a kind of a, a Star Trek fan. And I took K9, as he was then, to loads of Comic Cons. And the problem is, every time I took him to a Comic Con, there were loads of other K9s. Oh, okay. And in the end, I just stopped taking him to the Comic Cons because it was a bit kind of boring because it was just there's so many of them. And then one day, obviously, he got assimilated. And then he became K7 of 9 and then became a lot more popular. And didn't and stop him going out. He had a really good time. He yeah, went, he went out, went out even more then yeah. after being K7 of yeah. 9. Yeah, have a look at this. Resistance is futile. Welcome back. Don't know where Master Maker's gone. He was muttering about fixing the vacuum cleaner, so I thought I'd just leave him to it because we had a bit of a problem with it last week. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that montage of how we built K7 of 9. Do you know the bit I loved? The little bit with the Lego in it? Because that's how he's making his ears move here. Because I remember at the time, Master Maker had a terrible trouble with kids coming up. They love to pat K9's head, and then, of course, the ears get loads of wear and tear. So we had to come up with a system that was flexible and strong without a 3D printer, because they weren't invented at that time. So he came up with the Lego. And what I think is that in future, we're going to do a few more little episodes all about things like how we made K9's ears. Um, we'll pop some of them on Patreon, some on YouTube and some on both, so you can all have a look. And um, if you haven't considered it, then obviously Patreon really helps us because it's a little monthly donation that means that in return our followers get lots of juicy information they get to see the shows early and they get to see stuff like the odd makers video that we don't put on youtube and it does mean that we can carry on making our wild and wacky things anyway we'll see you next week in the meantime don't forget to subscribe hit the bell ding 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 ding, ding and share for your chance to win our lovely little owl spacey see you next week bye Oh, hi, yeah. Is that the uh, vacuum cleaner uh, service department? Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I emailed through the details of uh, my vacuum cleaner and you you said you would get back to me on that one. That's right, yeah. It, it suffered a, um, a, a catastrophic failure. No, it's hard to do. It's hard to explain really how the motor ended up out of the vacuum cleaner.